Hello everybody in YouTube land. Long time no see. Uh, I haven't done a video in a minute. Uh, obviously I don't really do any fishing in the winter time. Um, other things I do. Uh, but I got a gun video. I got a gun video. I got a new gun. So we're going to do a gun video. Uh, kind of a partial review. I can't give you a full review of this gun because I haven't shot it yet. I can tell you what other people are saying and I can tell you what I like about it and why I bought it. Um... So we are looking at a C-A-N-I-K, but the C is pronounced with a U, it's a Yakank or whatever, I don't know. It's probably wrong. But it is a Turkish gun, made by Century Arms. This is Georgia VT. Uh, TP9 SF Elite. This is a 9mm uh, subcompact, but it looks like a full-size gun, I guess. It's more, in my opinion, a mid-range gun. And I'll tell you why I bought it what I like about it. So no hammer, of course, very nice sights. Uh, no safety, but a really nice eject. Ejects very nicely. 15 round mag. You get two of these. They give you two. At least I got two. And they give you a holster. Decent, decent holster. I like the holster. It's not bad. I'll probably upgrade, but um, not a bad holster. Uh, the main selling point on this gun for me was the ease of cleaning the weight size how it felt in my hand feels nice uh kind of resembles a glock almost but it's got a nice back strap and a better feel better grip uh, feels a lot better than a glock it, it definitely from what i've been told shoots better than a glock and you won't have the malfunctions that you have with a uh, regular Glock. And, and what malfunctions am I talking about? There are plenty. I'm not going to go over one of them. They have these pieces right here on each side. Glock has a problem with them breaking. If yours haven't broke yet, then you don't shoot your Glock very much. Argue with me. I don't care. Um, the other problem that Glocks have is their handles tend to warp over time. Uh, this really isn't something I can prove that this gun doesn't do. Because I've had it long enough. It's a fairly new company, but anything goes wrong with this gun, they're going to fix it. Uh, it does have that weird double trigger thingy. I, I'm honest with you, I don't know what that's called. So I just dry fired it. Indicator shows it's been fired. Really cool thing about this gun is how it cleans. Just push these two down. So I got a finger on this side, this side, and push forward, lift up, whatever. It comes upwards. If you had cocked this gun and the indicator was showing, this thing is not coming off. You need to make sure that it hadn't been cocked. So, spring comes out very easily, and the barrel comes out. Boom. Very easy. Can't really say if this is a rotating barrel or what. I don't think it rotates like the PX Storm. I don't know. I didn't really research that. I was just like, well, is it clean? I'm going to run about 200 rounds to this thing tomorrow of uh, 9mm CCI and 115 grain. 9mm ammo in my town has been very cheap. Very cheap indeed. Like 35 bucks for 100 rounds. You know, when you're putting this gun back together, uh, you don't put it together like a, a traditional gun goes together. You, you more or less come from the back, slide it on, and, and that's it. So, very easy. The slide is the smoothest. I'm telling you, this is the smoothest slide you're ever going to see. This is a very smooth slide. I, I couldn't see the difference between this slide and the Kimber that I looked at. Um, so... Very smooth slide, and the weight is nice. It, like I said, I said that before, the weight is nice. It feels really good in your hand, you know. We'll see when I shoot it how it feels, but I have a feeling that I'm going to do very good with this gun shooting. I hope that covers everything. I just took this gun apart very quickly, put it back together sheet very quickly, so it's easy to clean, easy to manage. 
It should be easy to shoot too. It should be easy to shoot. Um, everyone always shows the rail. We've got a little utility rail. So you can be tactical and put your flashlight on there if you like. If you're thinking about getting a Glock, I would consider one of these instead. Reason being is the slide is so much smoother than a Glock slide. If you've ever pulled the slide back on a Glock, you know, if your hands are sweaty, forget about it. Uh, this is much smoother to pull back. Much smoother. And I will do some range videos. Um, I'm sure you gun trolls out there, especially the know-it-alls that think they know it all, are going to have something to say. Usually you guys comment about any gun video I post. Um, go ahead, have at it. I'm not going to get mad. I don't care. I'm not monetized. You're not hurting me. Um, but yeah, Turkish gun. Never bought a Turkish gun before. I'm curious to see how it holds up. But the uh, reviews from everybody else, you can see for yourself. Uh, most people feel that this is better than Glock. Thanks for watching. Oh, hit the like and subscribe button, please. Because I'm not monetized. And I could use, you know, I could use the help.